What's up, everybody? I'm back, and uh, today something pretty interesting happened, of course. Reggie fils from Nintendo was interviewed by Bloomberg online, and he said that Nintendo is not focused on specs. Now, before I, I get into this, uh, let's go ahead and play the video of that meeting. The Xbox and a new PlayStation. How do you think the NX console will stack up to them? You know, for us, it's not about specs, it's not about teraflops, it's not about the horsepower of a particular system. For us, it's about the content. Nintendo is a content-focused company. We create entertainment that makes people smile. So for us, we're focused on bringing our best entertainment to both the Wii U as well as the NX in the future. So for us, whatever Microsoft and Sony are doing in terms of talking about new systems, that's for them to fight out in that red ocean. For us, we want to make sure we're bringing our best content forward. And right now, the reaction to Zelda has been, uh, has been more than we could have ever imagined. So here we have Reggie saying that Nintendo as a company is not focused on specs, they're focused on content. He didn't say anything about the NX, but obviously he's talking about Nintendo as a whole. They're not focused on the, you know, here's my biggest spec, <laughs> you know, discussion. You know, here's uh, our numbers. Our specs are bigger than their numbers, you know. Nintendo has never been a company that was about that. Uh, maybe a little bit for one console, and that was the Nintendo 64. Nintendo touted that it was the most powerful system ever made and all that kind of stuff, but it didn't really release the full specs of that either. Uh, some details were given. Nintendo only really touted the N64 as being the most powerful. Super Nintendo, um, you know, GameCube were the most powerful of their generations, but they weren't touted as such uh, necessarily. Getting back to this statement, you know, it's true. Nintendo has never been a company that is touting their specs. It has always been Sony and Microsoft. So Reggie is absolutely right that they will leave that to Sony and Microsoft. However, to jump to the conclusion that the NX will not be a competent system is unrealistic because games have already been announced on accident for this system that will be coming to PlayStation 4, such as Dragon Quest XI, which runs on Unreal Engine 4. The NX, to be competitive in this field, obviously, it's going to have to be powerful enough to run those games. Now, you may argue and say, but what about Ubisoft and what they said about the NX being, you know, uh, getting those lapsed Wii owners, you know, and bringing them back? Oh, it's for the casuals, right? Uh, not true either, because what did Sony go out and do? They went and went after the market that was left over from the Wii, because the Wii graduated to the PlayStation 4, that Wii market. And the ones that didn't graduate to PlayStation 4, they went to smartphone devices. So, basically, of course, Nintendo's going to be making a console that caters to everybody. They want everyone to try the system. And if they don't, then they're in trouble, right? So put that to the side. Of course, they're making a system for everybody. But also, take what Reggie says and think about it a little clearer. He was talking about Nintendo as a whole. Since we know the NX will run these games, these ports of these next generation systems, I actually really, really like what Reggie did here. <laughs> as, as surprising as it may sound, He's actually sandbagging a little bit here because you see that smirk on his face. He knows what the NX is capable of. Now, Nintendo is not going to tout it and say all the numbers, of course, but when they actually show the system and show what it can actually do, they want to surprise you, the gamer. They want to surprise the Nintendo fan. So what's a good marketing tactic that companies generally use? Under promise, but over deliver, right? With that statement, generalizing Nintendo as a whole, the consumer may think that they're not going to be expecting anything from the NX. However, why on earth would Reggie do that, right? The system has not even been shown yet. So I truly think that what Nintendo is really trying to do is that they're going to try to surprise everybody with the NX, not just for its hidden abilities, but also for its processing power as well. We've heard countless information about the NX already over the past year or so that it's going to have industry-leading chips, it's going to be more powerful than PlayStation 4, the old PlayStation 4, that we've heard these rumors floating about for the past year or so. The Wall Street Journal reported on it, okay? This has also been talked about as a home console. Put all these things together, guys, you can see that this is just a tactic that Nintendo uses 
to downplay the importance of specs only. Of course the NX is going to have specs that are competitive with the competition. It has to because they're catering to the gamer, uh, which is what Kimishima has said. They're not focusing on the Wii and Wii U audience. They're going to be completely different and far away from that with the NX. We don't know what that special feature or special innovation is of the NX is. However, suffice to say, Nintendo's still going to make a console that caters to everybody, that everybody was going to want to try to play. That's basically what that is. It doesn't mean it's going to cater you know, to grandparents and, and babies and things like that. It means that they're, they want to have a system that caters to everybody. The core gamers, uh, people who just want to play casually as far as not having much time to play, basically. And when you think about it, Call of Duty. Call of Duty is basically a casual game now. You jump in, jump out. It's played on the couch with families. You know, I've seen five-year-olds play that game. Call of Duty, a mature-rated game, is a casual game for babies. <laughs> it has become that, basically. I think Nintendo is a really sneaky company, and I think this statement is really sneaky, obviously. So again, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Take care.